This house has been nothing short of high drama. Can I just say that we're building a cottage, not filming a porn movie here? I don't care what your VIP status is, you don't get to see it. There's so much work up there to get done, guys. In our world, only things are better things. I'm Colin. And I'm Justin. We've lived and worked around the world designing spectacular spaces. Now we want to commune with nature. We love the cottage life so much that we bought another beat-up old cabin on a different lake. But it needs a reno. Colin and Justin style. With our own wee budget, can these two Scotsmen make frugal fab? The pressure's on. Oh, that sound. Oh, bless. Cheers, chicken. Ching, ching. You know what, a little slice of perfection. The lake, the sun. You know what, I think we deserve this. You know, just a little moment of rewards. We started off with the craziest, worst cottage, totally sprinkled our Highland fairy dust across it, and all of a sudden, the cottage is actually livable. It's amazing, isn't it? I mean, the new windows, the new siding, the deck, the dock, the fact that we're actually here on the lake to enjoy this sunshine. Hey, guys, what's going on here anyway, so? We're just having a wee rest. What do you mean? A wee rest? You've been down here for like an hour and a half. We've been down here for about an hour, uh, at the most. Who's counting? Oh. Well, there's so much work up there to get done, guys. They give me a hard time about timing and costs, but yet they're down there having fun. Yeah, I know, but we just thought we'd take a little minute to get our breath back. So this is called research, okay? We're planning the sunroom, and part of that is sun. Well, and I'm rusting with you guys, too. Yeah, okay, go 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 Get there, get your top off. <laughs> Scared of the ladies. Off, yeah. Do you know what, Randy? Take, you know what, take your boots off. You've been working really, really hard. You know, and as your co-worker, I think you deserve a little moment in the sun. Oh, well, thank you. Just five minutes, yeah. Randy. Hour and a half for you guys, five minutes for me. That's how we like to do it in Scotland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys are cruel. Can't believe it. Look at guys, like, we're running out of nice weather. You know, while we're here, okay, can we get some details on the sunroom? Yeah, a of bit? course. It's going to okay. be lovely. The roof is going to be the same as the main roof on the building. Uh, we're going to use the exterior siding as the main wall with the doors. There's going to be that wonderful folding door system to the front. So all you have to do is supervise. And look fabulous, Randy. Maybe learn to snap your fingers and do a Z in the air. No, I'm not going to do any of that. No? No, no, thanks. Come on, Randy, yeah, snap the air. Get some attitude. No, I'm not Come doing on. that. No. Like this. Baby. No, no, I just point. Anyway, you, maybe it's yeah. maybe that's it. Maybe if, why would you respond to that a little better? Why, yeah, maybe. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby, don't be an old stick in the mud. Okay, guys, <laughs> no, you know what? Why don't uh, I about five more minutes? Okay. And then you guys come up and, and help me. How's that? Okay. Sound? Does that okay. sound good? Randy wants us to work, and we will, by visiting our friend Roger. He has an interesting sunroom from which we can certainly take some design inspiration. This is really fab, Roger. Such a nice house. And the aspect is just intoxicating. Yeah, well, there's the view. That's really special. It's beautiful and, like, no neighbours, just solitude. Yeah. Wow. Well, how long have you had this house? Oh, I've been here for three years. We knocked down the old one. Oh, yeah? Right, wow. And built this. And built from oh, you. cheers. It's a great size, this, isn't it? And I That's love nice. the, the, the actual, the additional height yeah. is amazing. Yeah, we wanted to keep it feeling airy and open, and they used a really nice weight of wood, too. Well, the thing is, that gives it a real kind of, like, solid feeling, yeah. doesn't it? So using the chunky timber mm -hmm. makes it look totally bolted onto the house. It looks really solid. Yeah. I like the fact as well that the siding, which appears on the outside of your home, is also in here. So it really is that classic case of merging the indoors and the out. Well, the important thing, too, is uh, they bug-proofed under the floor as well. Oh, have they? Oh, oh well, you can, can see, see the that. Mesh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got the same membrane yeah. as you have on your windows. Yeah. But you've got it fixed to the end. That's really clever. Yeah, it's nice. Really clever. Yeah. This is perfect, isn't it? You know, because you're so close to the lake, an amazing view, so close yeah. to the forest. For us, that swamp is a key feature because it's it has life in it. What's in it? Uh, a lot of frogs in the spring. Are there? Yeah. We have a, a full chorus. And do you spawn? Sorry, do they spawn? <laughs> I don't. They do. do. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> exactly. So you you guys use this for what? It's just a bit of a kind of sitting area, somewhere to read a book. Yeah. Yeah, have a seat. All right, thank it's you. Really it's really comfy. I like as well that you've mixed the woods with the painted, the, the really dark yeah. ebony stain siding, the natural tones of the, the honey in the floor. It just feels really comfy. It's a good vibe, yeah. isn't it? You can congregate here, have a glass of wine, but still feel really connected and fabulously bug-free. Well, thanks, Roger. I mean, this has been a perfect visit to your screened-in porch, but I actually am, I do feel like there's something missing. Well, 
I think we could probably find something, actually. I believe I have a bottle in the cupboard. Uh, a nice scotch? Oh, oh well, very nice scotch. Fantastic. Oh, we should do that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. It's a new day and we're excited to go meet with Bob to consider some of the Sunspace products that might work well in our new sunroom. Now Bob, we are desperate to see this, absolutely desperate. You're going to enjoy this. I hope so. Did it turn out how we want it? Better. But that's what we like to hear, Bob. In our world, only <laughs> things <laughs> are better <gasps> things, everything's. Meanwhile. And we took everything that Colin wanted on his incredibly long wish list of dozens of emails. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. So this is going to take us actually to the side of the house. It's going to give us that view right down the lake, as well as giving us all the architecture. I mean, loving the extra height here. This is going to be so rewarding when you're in here. Chunky timber frame around that as well. So basically, this is actually a prototype we're developing. So you're actually going to have a nine foot door section here. When it comes to entertaining, it's a beautiful day. You're going to have the functionality and ability very, very easily to turn that into a completely open area. Wow. So essentially, you're taking what was a really lovely idea of ours and making even more fantastic. It's basically flexibility itself. Flexibility, that's exactly what we're after. I want the flexibility after. of a Russian gymnast. Darling, I want a perfect 10 every I time. I think you find that Bob is the <clears throat> Nadia Comaneci of sunrooms, That's what we want. Do you know what's amazing about this is that you actually get the timber and the dark of the frame as well, and that's what we're going for. You know, we're trying to play that throughout the house. Now, the one difference being is, is that in this one, you see our acrylic roof system, but in yours, as per Colin's wishes, it's the whole thing is going to be actually pine liner. Yes, exactly. Now, do you notice anything about the lovely bulb here? Yeah, uh, apart from the fact it looks fabulous. I like how he says Colin's wishes. What would you know, exactly, wishes no, This is good, though. This is something that you should take on board, you know. And actually, when I have wishes, you should fulfill them. <laughs> I know, Honestly, I'm going to run away <laughs> with Bob. 30 years really I'm troubles. About that. I can just see it. <laughs> can you, Bob? Colin and Bob's cabin pressure. I'm Colin. And I'm Bob. Well, I can at least me out a little bit, I've got to say. <laughs> We love these. They're just amazing, isn't it? You know, it gives you 75% ventilation. Uh, you can walk into the room very quickly when it's closed up. And within a matter of half a minute, you have full ventilation across the whole room. Yeah, the fog's really close. This is amazing, isn't uh, it? Can we do the thing that you do? Which we're actually too scared. Where you get to, can we? you get to head out. Look. Can I have a go? Look, 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 look. It's like the perfect look, look, memory. Look, look, it's totally flat. I love that. Look at that. Anderson. Yeah, so typically about 40 seconds and it goes flat. Is there anything that you can show us that will kind of give us an idea of the door system that you're going to install? The problem is, is that it's still in development. And it's kind of a top secret thing. So, Bob, this thing doesn't exist at the moment? It does not exist. Well, we have one prototype made up. It's under lock and key. And I don't care what your VIP status is, you don't get to see it. I like that. It's not like we're the, we're the public. We're the Colin and Justin. We are, and I will say, Bob, Come on, Bob. You Let have us have done, a look. You've done a brilliant job for us in the past. And as much as we're both real control freaks and like to know every single detail, I think I'm prepared to be your little pig, your little guinea pig. As long as you put lipstick on. Oh, I will, darling. Always, <laughs> always glamorous. I know for a fact you'll like me. Fabulous. Sir. Bob, put it there. Excellent. Gentlemen. Thanks for your time today. These better be good. Oh, by the way. Is that what it is? Your door is in behind there. In here? Your door is in there. Do you know what I feel like? It's... I feel like it's almost like being in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Look, restricted area. It's like an adult cinema. But we're over 18, Bob. Can we not be trusted? No. No. OK, moving on. I hate surprises. <laughs> I love surprises. <laughs> building a brand new sunroom. It will be a beautiful large extension to the side of the house. The plans have been drawn out and the build is about to begin, as long as the rain can hold off. I'm sorry about this. It's a little muddy, but it's that's okay. It's weather. You know, we're just glad that it's dry for three seconds at the moment. It's been so wet. We're swimming in mud, but hopefully nothing's going to get in the way of what's happening today. Absolutely not. So this is the actual structure of the, uh, the timber frame sunroom that will get stood up, and then the screens will get set inside, and the roof will get put on top. Right. So now we just have to put it together like a big jig jigsaw puzzle. Okay. Anything we can do to help we're your All boys. Right. Well, let's get in there. Yeah, you guys let's get help us some cameras. Yeah, exactly. Let me grab one of these enormous <laughs> pieces of timber and grab that, Colin. Jeez. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> is there some concrete inside Oh, my this God. One? Sean, don't you just stand there. I know you're building the house, but <laughs> give us a hand. Give me a hand there, guys. I know this is a three-hander. slip in the mud. Can these just sit on top yeah. of this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. OK, so the, the beam, the timber beams are going to fit into these pockets that they've cut out here. Uh -huh. And then when the roof gets put on, it's actually going to overframe on top of this roof. The shingles will all tie in. 
and it looks seamless. I mean, this is a kind of an experiment for us, okay, because we're using the concept of a sunroom to actually add an extension and actually really enhance the size of the property. I mean, I know we're having a cathedral ceiling, which is all very well, but on a really wet day like this, maybe we should have an umbrella ceiling. I don't know if we can incorporate that design <laughs> change just right now, but maybe the next one. Yeah. So let's make the most of the cathedral, okay, and just pray for good weather. Are you going to be on your knees again, Colin? Well, I'm afraid so. You do some of your, <laughs> your best work down there. <laughs> that has been said, you know. <laughs> As we're building our sunroom, there's certainly one thing we're missing, the sun. But we're pushing on through the rain and getting our timber framing up. Boys, you're doing a sterling hey, job, well, can we help? Looking, what are you up to? Is this a vampire convention? Well, you see, uh, what we're doing here is we're putting the, the, uh, the posts and the beam together uh -huh. with these hardwood pegs. That uh -huh. actually holds it all together, so it's like a real authentic timber frame uh, method of joining. But so one goes into the other, and one, then that secures it in that's place. That's right, that's right. But what we do, and I'll get you to help me out here, is uh, in order to get the peg in there, we got to lube it up with some of this just uh, normal household dish soap. So if you rub that on there, good. Get her all good and lather it up. There you go. We're all over it. All over the whole thing. Don't, don't miss the spot. It's not a button in a fur coat. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. So no, there you go. Okay, is this really? Is this is true building? That's it. Uh, yeah. it's kind of Can you actually what do that in a slightly less rude fashion? So this is construction, right? So here. what do I do with this now? Okay, so now we're gonna pound that through the hole. I heard pound. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right, let's do it. Where do we do it? Where do I pound? Can I just say that we're building a cottage, not filming a porn movie right, here? Yeah, here we go. Whack oh, it in. Wait a minute. Batter it. Don't hit the wood, Colin. I'm trying not. Am I through yet? No more. That's good. Am I, are, we, are we there? Yeah. Fabulous. That's Excellent. the money show. <laughs> Holy moly, I'm going back I in. I love this. What is going on? Sunroom, we need more sun. Next up, the guys are putting in the centre roof beam. to cut a hole out of the existing cabin structure so that the new sunroom roof will fit in perfectly. And then the rafters. And while the guys continue with the sunroom construction, we're going to hide from the rain inside and work on a little DIY project. Oh, the joys of our own basement, Justin. I love this. I love even more the fact that we've got a really, really good piece of furniture to work on. We picked this up in the local thrift store for $35. Now, obviously, as it stands, it's not ideal, but we've got some really big plans to make it work really well in our sunroom. This is the piece we're actually after. Look at that incredible frame. We're going to use this as a console in the sunroom, and we love the fact that it's got that 70s office vibe, quite kind of factory looking, especially with all this wonderful rubbed steel. And when we add some timber, We've actually stolen these from Randy. These are scaffolding planks. I mean, look at the state of them. These are the footprints of our beloved contractors. So fabulous. But we've sanded them down. We've given them a coat of varnish so we get this really fabulous kind of exotic wood look. And when we put these on the top... Oh, no, no, I love that. The good thing with this as well is this is a great way to problem solve because what we have is a really big sunroom with a really big, big, wide rear wall. And getting a piece of furniture to fit those kind of proportions is potentially quite expensive. You know, it's going to cost you, what, six, seven hundred dollars? Easily, but I think the best part of it is that we did it ourselves with something. And again, we love to stop stuff going to landfill. So $35 for the frame, do you know, I don't know, 10 or 15 dollars worth of wood for the top. So for 50 dollars, an absolutely brilliant, big impact piece for the sunroom. A good job, well done. Look at that, handmade by Scotsman Justin. underway in our sunroom build. And since we have a momentary break in the almost constant rain, we're running over to our favourite antique shop to grab some last minute items with which to prop our vision. We love our city life, there's no doubt about it, but when you take a couple of steps into the country and you find somewhere as perfect as this, it's really romantic. It's about days gone by, it's about getting into the cottage vibe and just kind of taking a step back in time. And today, we're happily raiding the, the annals of Canadian history to find gorgeous stuff for our own cabin. It just goes on and on and on, doesn't it? Bowels of lambs and ivy. Oh, just a nice just, just for a minute. Thank you. Oh, hold on. Oh, look at these. Hold on. Oh, they're nice. So. Grab that. Oh, these are these. I love oars. I'm always sticking my oar in. Well, they're not <laughs> bad shape for their age. How old are they? I'd say this one would be from the 50s, okay. probably a camp. Okay. And the kids have painted it, and usually they had their own paddles, so they paint them up. This one looks like an otter tail. Sometimes they would make them in a specific shape for fast water rafting. Oh, really? Oh, really? Wow. 
So like we're just thinking of them using them as art. decorative. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And I like the way that the weather has actually uh, kind of decorated them. What kind of price are these? Uh, they would be around 15 to 25. Well, that's a lot. Ooh. Yeah, that would be so this one, discount for the three? Yeah, you can get a discount for the three. What could you do the three for? I think we could do the three for, let's say, 45. What about 30? What about 10 bucks each? Yeah, your multiple buyers. That's Blessings. Nice. It's amazing. Good. You know what, what these are, you... are? These are the cheapest doors in Halliburton. <laughs> What are you making these into? You come back all the time. Well, we love this place. It's a fantastic resource for us. Um, stuff like this is great because it's a little bit rough and ready, and we think that they could potentially balance out a very modern look. So wall decor, I don't know, we could make them into hoops, yeah. or simply just have them on the wall as Trust, a statement. Yeah. yeah. Exactly, or failing that, I'll just spank Justin with oh, them. Oh, that's so naughty. It's such a great business here. So nice. As quickly as the sun came, it's now gone again, and it feels that we're on the verge of winter. But the frame and roof have been put up, and hundreds of pounds of beautiful granite have just arrived on the back of a flatbed truck for the floor of our sunroom. The last step before we move in is to install our brand new windows. Perfect fit. Nice. Randy? Hey, guys. Oh, guys. How you doing? Better than good. How are you, Bob? You all right? Just lovely. Is this, are we just at the, at the point, the magic moment when these are beautiful, beautiful That's right, we got, we're got. we saving one for you. Do that. I don't pop my cart for everybody, you know. All right. You got it? General. Uh -huh. Bottom in first. Hold on. Uh, hold on, mind your fingers. Such a fantastic right. system with the screens on there as well. Are we in? Wow, look at that. Yeah, we got her. I love the fact that they stack up and down so you can have the bug screens exposed by themselves. Really clever. It's great, and just great how the kind of the black metal echoes the main house. It looks fantastic, Bob. Well done. Yeah. Look at Randy <laughs> demonstrating those. You're like a young Vanna White, Randy. Are we just thinking that? Weren't you? Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good on them. The nice thing about these windows, too, is you, you pretty much extend your season by three or four months a, a year because yeah. you can sit out there in the fall and it's still nice. You don't have the wind blowing through the screens, right? Honestly, this is just a room for all seasons. It really is. What you guys have done with the windows, the pitch of the roof, the railings around the perimeter, everything just marries so perfectly now. Now you're starting to see how it all ties in. Yeah. The sad part is, is we won't be here to enjoy it. You boys can come by. <laughs> <laughs> I got a key. Yeah, you got a key. Note to self, change the locks. Yeah, keep <laughs> building a sunroom, but ironically, the theme for this build has been, well, lack of sun. The driving rain has now turned into ceaseless snow, so it's lucky for us that the structure for the sunroom is actually complete. I mean, we've made lots of changes to the house, but I think one of the most successful is the addition of the sunroom. And even though, even though it's freezing today, and it <laughs> might be the perfect opportunity to throw open those gorgeous concertina sun port doors, <laughs> it's still a triumph. Look what it's done for the architecture of this building. You know, a really boring A-frame home has been transformed. We've got an additional wing here. I love the extra height we get from that fabulous peak ceiling. I love the huge, chunky, exposed beams. And the, look at those little bad boys there. There are little pegs in there. Mm -hmm. You know, just little hints, little clues to the wonderful hand-built nature of this building. It's not just a sunroom, it's a way of life. And I know that probably sounds a bit bonkers, but it'll completely change the way that we live at this gorgeous cabin by the lake. It becomes a much, much better prospect for entertaining, for really living a fabulous life at the lake. Look at that view. Look at that, unhindered by the addition of this wonderful sunroom. And then when it comes down to like, the final detailing, it's the, the black window frames, the retractable screens. I love it. We just need some sun, though. Can you still call it a sunroom if you're actually surrounded with snow? Well, technically, it's still really sunny, and although it's winter, it's actually really cosy in here. Do you know, this has been a real triumph to make a perfect causeway between the bunkie and the main house. It's got real presence. I love this. I love the ceiling. I love the colour of that timber up there, beautifully framed by that grey timber. My two favourite things in here, without a shadow of a doubt, are that gorgeous granite floor, because it's so textural, visually stimulating, but it's got that real kind of stoic country presence. And the other thing, these windows, you know, with the memory plastic, they're really, really good because they allow you to use the sunroom when it's actually getting a little bit colder. So a big tick in a big box 
from me. I like how we've used the same siding, we've used the same colour scheme in here as well, so that there's continuity between two spaces. You know, both inside and out. I think for me, layers are one of the most important part of any good interior design scheme. And in this room, we've added loads and loads of layers. We've got the really thick, robustuous wicker of that really comfy sofa. But then again, it's tempered by acres of cream linen. And having all of these throws and the sheepskins, all of that starts to make you feel really, really cosy. The console table, when you think we actually picked up the frame of that from the thrift store, we've put some scaffolding planks on the top of it, sanded them as well, giving it a beautiful treat of that gorgeous color. And suddenly it's the centerpiece of this room. What I also really enjoy in this space is the fact that we've got really, really good symmetry. It all starts from the big horn sculpture in the middle and it bleeds out from the little stools underneath to the lamps either side. The little drum tables, the candles, the live edge table, it's so cosy. So many people, when they actually have a sunroom, you know, when they have a passageway from the outdoors through to the main house, they don't know what to do with it. You know, sometimes they leave it bare because they don't want to get in the way. You know what, give it a name, get some furniture in there, start to use it, you know, and really use it to enhance your cottage experience. This, for me, is the perfect observation of how to dress a sunroom for all seasons. You know what, Justin Ryan? We may not have a sunroom today, but we certainly have a fantastic snow shelter. And very cosy it is indeed. Now get your coat, because you're going to need it outside, because <laughs> it is nipple tinglingly cold. <laughs> do I need to do the whole thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, get it on there. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. give me a hand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 You're as bad as you're bad. You know, while he's doing that, I can't stop looking at you. Who do people say you look like? Star. We've got A-list Hollywood talent here, yeah. and you're doing that. Can yeah. you stop that? <laughs>